Mama of that hippie family. Floyd is right next to me, sucking on his fingers. He was kind of napping, but I took too long to get ready, so now he's awake, but that's okay. It's Sunday, so Papa Bear of this hippie family is fishing like he does every Sunday, which is super fun. Today's video is one I have kind of been thinking about for a long time, and I'm really excited to share with you my top five favorite sustainable Canadian brands. I love supporting Canadian companies, especially small companies because that is the best way to support our Canadian economy. Some of these brands I've been using for a couple of years. Some of them are still relatively new to me, but I have instantly fallen in love with them because they are such high quality products and they come from amazing businesses. So let's get right to it. But do you want to see Floyd first? I want to first off mention that none of, I am not sponsored, I have not been paid to say anything that I am saying about any of these companies. These are brands that I have found and love all on my own. I do have one discount code for you, but I don't get paid when you use it. So I will start off with my absolute favorite makeup company. I have been using them now for a couple of years. I bought their products from an all natural makeup store when I used to live in the Okanagan called the Green Vanity. It was an ama it was like an eco-friendly Sephora. It was heaven. I absolutely love that place. So I've never purchased their products online, but they are actually started here on Vancouver Island in Victoria. It's called Elate Cosmetics. Beautiful, beautiful packaging. So it's all zero waste, sustainable packaging. I use, um, I don't wear a lot of makeup obviously so I will tell you what I use I've tried different products from their line too and I have loved every single product I've ever used I use their um, what's this one called actually it's called Raven so all of their packaging is made of wood and the insides are little um, refillable inserts that you can get so this I use for my brows and I use my um, wooden or bamboo brow stick as well so when I do my brows that's how I just brush them in I have dark brows so I I just brush it like that and then this one was another favorite product of mine it, I don't even know if they have this one anymore because I actually have tried to find it but it's called veil powder the lady when I bought it at the store explained it to me like pantyhose for your face which is amazing you would buy the refill insert which is just a little tiny sachet of powder that you would put inside so you always keep your original packaging I use their brushes and um, my wooden eyebrow pencil my wooden eyebrow brush stick and then bronzer, the veil powder, I need to get more, and the brow balm. That's what I pretty much wear for makeup. Second company I have been using for years, which I absolutely love, is called Colibri. Colibri is made in Canada. They make reusable bags or wet bags as well. I do have a few small bags like this which can replace any Ziploc bag. You can put snacks in here, you can use it for food, you can use it for your pencil crayons, you can use it for anything. I usually use it like when I am um, on the go I put like my crackers and whatever in here and throw it in my purse instead of using plastic Ziploc bags. Floyd is so chatty. Can you hear him chatting away? He's putting himself to sleep. And then we use their larger wet bags with the straps that you can hook onto a towel bar. We actually don't use 
a towel bar but it's nice to have these straps because I hook it to the basket where we keep our cloth toilet paper which is what we use in the bathroom and then we put our cloth toilet paper in the wet bag and then the wet bag in the washing machine. We use wet bags for our cloth toilet paper as well as um, our cloth diapers now that Floyd is here. So I would keep a wet bag in my purse. They have this liner on the inside, which is like, it's waterproof so that no leakage, you can't smell through it either. We never smell anything out of it. So it's nice to be able to carry this bag and fill it with uh, dirty diapers when we're on the go. I also use it for my time of the month. I actually have a smaller bag. I haven't, I haven't got my period back yet since I had Floyd, so I haven't had to use it, but it's about this size and then it has another, a second pouch on it. So I can put a clean pad in there so that I can put the dirty one in the wet part and then change it when I need to when I'm on the go. So these bags are a lifesaver. And number three is a brand new company to me, but I've had my eyes on them for a while. It's called Anointment. My favorite product from them is Baby Balm. I use it when I'm changing, oh it smells like Floyd's bum. <laughs> I use it when I'm changing his bum, obviously, but I also put it all over his skin. He had a band-aid on the other day and when I took it off, it caused some sort of like reaction on his skin and it was all raised and red. It was awful. I don't know if he's allergic to a heat adhesives in the band-aid or something, but I put this on it as well and it completely made it better so much faster also if he has any sign of diaper rash which when I use disposable diapers he does get a diaper rash sometimes this baby bomb is amazing it gets rid of diaper rash with like you put it on and it's gone any sort of when he had the reaction to the band-aid put it on and it was gone dry skin I cover him in it I've already been through one of these in three months. So I highly recommend this particular product. Now I also have another product from them. It's called Push. I bought this, did I, I bought it before I gave birth, but I, right before I gave birth, like a week before I gave birth. I should have bought it months before I gave birth. It literally says recommended by pelvic floor physiotherapist. It's a topical herbal balm for, no I can never say this word, your perineum it's called perineum slash bottom balm and so now you can use it for perineum massage before you give birth or which I also use it for it's really good for hemorrhoids I've only used it a few times and when I did use it I've really liked it but I don't really have a use for it right now next baby next baby for sure. She has a lot of skincare products with this company. A lot of baby and mama kind of stuff. Number four is Biba Canada. It's a brand new company to me and I have fallen in love with their products. They sell completely eco-friendly baby products. First off, I've got these bamboo diapers, disposable diapers. These are biodegradable. Now, I don't think the whole entire diaper is 100% biodegradable. The inner and outer layer is bamboo and it's wood filling for absorbency. They also have the little lines so you know if it's wet and Floyd is wearing one right now and it's so soft. For a disposable diaper, it's so, so soft. Even if these are not 100% biodegradable they are a more sustainable option for sure if you're gonna go with disposable diapers because bamboo is a far more renewable resource and it's better for the planet this is so much fun I will insert a little clip here of Floyd he doesn't okay so Floyd doesn't use a soother he sucks his thumb but I got this little teething ring and he loves it. He's just learning to reach out and grab and hold on to things. So this is perfect for his little hand. He gets his little fingers in there and he can hold it a little bit. He's learning to grab it and bring it to his mouth, but I'll put it in his mouth and he loves it. He gets so excited and all smiley. It must like feel good on his gums. This is eco-friendly silicone and I got this really cool 
whole little case, which you could put a soother in, but I put his teether in. And then you can attach it to your diaper bag or your purse on the go to keep it clean and sanitary. And you might wonder how silicone is eco-friendly. Silicone is eco-friendly because it is made from sand, so it's not like plastic because it is far more durable and would last so much longer. So it's not gonna break down into little bitty pieces. It's ocean friendly safe. When plastic breaks, what do you do with it, right? You throw it in the garbage, but this isn't going to break. Silicone is derived from sand and manufacturing it does not involve mining for crude oil. So neat, I love that. A nice little safe place to put his tea there. This beautiful muslin blanket literally feels like butter. It's so soft, so soft. It's a really nice size. Floyd loves it. What's really nice about the bamboo muslin blanket is that you can fold it and double it up so that it can be thicker but you can also fold it down or roll it down so that it's really small and it fits in your diaper bag. I always take this blanket with me when we travel because it's so practical on the go. Instead of like a big bulky blanket, I can just fold this thing down and roll it up and it fits into my diaper bag so easily. It's nice and compact. With this company, I can give you my discount Earth Enchantress. It will save you 12% off, plus when you spend $99 online, you get free shipping. So I highly recommend checking them out. There's a link in the description below and you can head on over to their website. Now last, but definitely not least, I have recently found a designer on Vancouver Island, actually not even too far from where I live in the Cowichan Valley. Her business is Brenda Lane Designs and she makes eco-friendly, sustainable fashion made and manufactured in Canada. That's actually pretty hard to find sometimes. It's all made in Vancouver. It's washable. Oh, by the way, I'm wearing it right now. This is a beautiful dress that I got and it is so soft. It's very form fitting. It feels good against my skin. It's very flowy. I will insert some beautiful pictures of me wearing it right here. I also got a little sweater and some leggings from her. If you know me, you know how much I love my bamboo. So it was so exciting to find a local business right here who makes beautiful bamboo clothing that washes well and is made in Canada. I love to support that. She recently, I think in the spring, started her online business. Most of her garments were sold in stores, but now you can buy them online. If you're going to buy new clothing to support a sustainable company or sustainable clothing because fast fashion is one of the worst things for the environment and if we're going to spend our money on clothing we should remember that everything we spend our money on is like voting for what we believe in. If we want to see more eco-friendly sustainable Canadian products out there then we're going to have to spend money on those things so that there are more of them. Sometimes they do cost a little bit more, but that's what makes it worth it, is that you are supporting an industry that has more value in growth. If you are watching this video and you don't live in Canada, same goes for whatever country that you are from. By supporting local small businesses, you do support your own economy. I will have a link to every business I mentioned in my description below. Make sure you check them out if you would like to to know more about each of them. As always guys, thank you so much for watching my video. In a few days, Floyd and I are taking our first solo trip together. We are so nervous, a little bit nervous. We are going to be flying on an airplane to go visit family in Alberta. So next week's video is how I'm going to be packing and flying with a two and a half month old baby by myself. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. We are getting married in less than a month now, as always. 
I hope that you guys have a great rest of your day. I will have a great rest of my day and I will see you in the next video. Peace.